Hello everyone. So um, in the previous video, we have um, created a registration form. Okay, and um, and we also work with both the front end and the back end. Well, today what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna check if the user has already registered an email. We don't we don't want a user to duplicate their account okay so um, if the user register with the same email we want our system to throw out an error called the email has exist already existed something like that all right so this is the code um, that in the last video we work on okay so when a user click on register we validate the email and then we take in a variable if they know if they're empty error then we're gonna start inserting to the database. All right, so today we're gonna to check if a user exists. Okay. Um, check if user has email has already existed. And what we're gonna do um, we're gonna query the database. So let's go ahead and video uh, prepare statement okay for the statement we're gonna have select I'm just gonna select all from the table what well, the table we have uh, is the user table okay so so we got the database here I have a tutorial database with one uh, table called user right now so that why I say user and then where uh, we only want to see if the email exists okay and that's for the prepare statement and then we're gonna execute query execute and what we're gonna execute execute the emails okay and then after we execute an email uh, we want to count the result Okay, so just say result query and we're gonna row count. All right, we're gonna count result. Now we check if the result is more than zero. That means the email already exists. That's one instant of result. So when I set an error, okay, something like. Uh, email already has already existed please choose another one okay uh, but i also want to um, something like span uh, class danger this is the bootstrap class to make the word the sentence correct all right like an error save now one final check seems all right okay let's start so we go to our website and we're going to enter now the first thing we're going to try to enter the same um email that we use last time all right to see if if our system recognize it and refuse it i'm say zero coding and yep same email class one one two three and submit what well, is that email has already resisted which is another one now we're gonna say another one Victor. um example email but this time we're gonna make one here password one two three again submit your account has been created so go to our database refresh it yep and as you see um the new a new account has been created so that's how we check 
if the user exists in a PHP PDO. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful.